Tonight at 5, two adults now in jail for beating up a 12-year-old kid at a bus stop in Hernando County. ABC Action News reporter Sarah Rosario has more on the reason they claim their actions were justified. The two adults are 19 and 20 years old. They live in Tampa, but they came here to Spring Hill to visit family friends. That's when we're told they learned about a neighborhood bully, and they came to this bus stop to do something about it. Michaela Nimblett and Macy Alford are still in the Hernando County Jail after they were arrested yesterday for beating up a 12-year-old at a bus stop here at the Villages of Avalon neighborhood in Spring Hill. The battery's battery. The, the law is the law. She did wrong, and she's going to pay for it. A family friend who didn't want to show his face says Macy is like a niece to him and says she and her friend Michaela were staying with his wife and kids for the week. The kids told the women about a 12-year-old neighborhood bully who's been taunting them and other kids for some time. The little girl next door, he's been, I don't know, pushing her around. Maybe he likes her. I don't know. I don't know. It's a 12-year-old kid, so, you know. According to the arrest report, Michaela and Macy walked the kids to the bus stop to confront the 12-year-old, smacking him in the face and in the back of the head several times, telling deputies he deserved it because of his bullying. Instead of, you know, correcting the bully, she became the bully. I think sometimes we all feel like doing that, but you can't act on it. The news spread fast through the neighborhood, and the family friend tells us the parent of the 12-year-old punished him for bullying and called the cops on the women. They didn't want to speak to us on camera today. For now, those women will stay in jail until family members pay their bail. You know, maybe if they put a little more God in their life, a little more Christ, and, and learn, learn true values, then, you know, these kids would be raised better. And for now, Michaela and Macy could stay in jail for a couple more weeks. They are set to go before a judge on the 27th, and their family members say they want to make sure they've learned their lesson. In Spring Hill, Sarah Rosario, ABC Action News.